Hey guys, in the last few videos about adware, I've shown you how you can remove adware with a series of free utilities. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can prevent a lot of the adware that gets installed. Um, so, this program, I'm sure you've already seen the title of the video, is called Unchecky. It's a free little service. A couple of the users that uh, watch my videos um, told me about it. Uh, I don't know about everything, so um, I said I'd check it out. I checked it out. It's pretty awesome. I've already tried it earlier. Uh, so let's just give you an example of what happens when people download stuff. Kids, adults, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, we go to a website and we need to grab a few things for our computer. We'll go to... Um, Let's get, we'll do three things. Three things that I know have adware. You know, maybe it's late at night, you had a few beers, whatever, you're not paying attention to clicking next, next, next. All of a sudden, you wake up the next day and your computer has tons of new toolbars, you have a new homepage, you got pop-ups, uh, things like that. And I'll show you how that happens. Really, really easy, actually. And then I'll show you how to pre prevent it with an uh, unchecky. So let's do our first one. This is CD Burner XP. Um, it is. It'll download here someday. I'm having some trouble with a uh, file hip lately, not downloading stuff. Let's hit refresh here. There we go. We'll go ahead and run it. And so yeah, this is an example of not having some kind of adware protection. So I'll just quick uh, click through really quick, you know, we're just not really paying attention, just get this stuff installed. Uh, sure, I accept, yeah. Alright, so we just installed some adware. Just now. And we'll go ahead and launch that. And I have no problem with CDBurner XP, except that they bundle adware with their stuff. I'd rather them put like an ad inside the program. I think that would be a way to go. Instead of this adware that's on my computer now. Okay, so I've got my little CD burner program. Good, I'm on my way. I'm, I might have just built a new computer. I need to grab this stuff. That's a good example. So now we need... Um, whoops. Well, let me go forward. Oh, well. Now we need something to burn ISOs with. Uh, let's go ahead and grab one of my favorites, actually. It's in here somewhere. Image burn. Download that guy. These are all taking forever, of course. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. Alright, so next. I accept. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sure, right. Boom! That fast. I wasn't really paying attention. Lots of adware getting installed right now. And this adware can get so bad, so quick, that a lot of people are kind of helpless and don't know what to do, and they'll have to call out for help. Or bring their computer into like a repair shop or something like that. And last but not least, I need a way to download YouTube videos. Everyone, everyone does. Let's do a search for it, of course. 
Okay. Not sure what that is. Some kind of free TV thing. Got ads in the bottom there now. Alright. Um, let's go with YouTube. Downloader. It's a popular search item. I've already been there once earlier. So we'll say download now, 100% free. Um, this software is 100% free, guaranteed not to cause any, give you any spyware or any kind of malware. Okay, well, sounds good. So that's YouTubeDownloader.com. They say it's spyware and malware free. It redirects us to CNET. We'll go ahead and download now. Which sits there and hangs forever. I've already been through this earlier today. Pretty, pretty annoying. So now I have all kinds of underlined links in my browser. I never had that before. So that is a result of some of the adware. If I mouse over those double underlined links, uh, someone's getting paid. And the browser is just terribly slow now to load anything, whereas before it was not that way. Alright, we'll go ahead and run this guy. Some kind of downloader, I think. Uh, like a CNET or download.com thing. Last time it was. Maybe this time it isn't. Alright, so welcome to the free YouTube downloader setup. Uh, huge long policy. Last item being advertisement. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip that for now. Alright, so that did something. <laughs> and then it launches the actual installer for the free YouTube downloader. So this is the kind of tactics I'm seeing a lot of now. Oh, there's our adware. And so we've agreed in some at some spot, either through the CNET downloader or this uh, YouTube downloader, to go ahead and install some some kind of toolbar. I think. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and close that. Go over to our browser. And now my home page is Conduit. I've got another window that just popped up. So yeah, my browser has been hijacked. I've got all this adware now. So let's go ahead and see. I've got, you know, ads and stuff like that, which is part of the Conduit page. But let's go ahead and see what actually has been installed. I know I'm dragging this out, and you can skip ahead to see what Unchecky does, but I really think you need to kind of see what happens when you install three pieces of freeware that are, you know, say they're free, but they're not truly free. There's, there's stuff that comes bundled with them. And I get it, these guys have to make some money and stuff, but I think they're real kind thing to do for people would be just to embed an ad in your application. You know, let people click on something if they want to. So ADW Cleaner will come back and tell us what we have done. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow install the ASPCA add-on or something 
whatever. <laughs> There's some uh, some of that conduit search protect BS down there that I always run into. At, at no point do I remember making my homepage conduit.com. That got set up when I installed some of these free apps. Okay. I might have just closed the browser without noticing. <laughs> Hang on, let me get ADW cleaner here. Okay, um, so it's actually here installed. So we'll go ahead and do a scan. And you can see I have an active process, which is that search protect running, that is adware. We have four folders containing adware. And trust me, once you get a little adware, you're going to get a lot quick because you get tons and tons and tons of offers presented towards you. And you inevitably, or someone in your family, clicks on one of them and it just, it just keeps snowballing over and over and over again. So four different folders and one process running. So that's what happens when you don't have something like Unchucky installed. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and revert this uh, computer back to its original state. And uh, we'll see what Unchucky does with those same apps. Okay, so got this uh, computer back to its original state. Let's go ahead and install Unchucky before we do any installs on our computer. So we will go to Unchucky. Unchucky. Hold on. Unchucky.com. And it is a really nice looking straightforward website. I really like it actually. <laughs> uh, it's very easy for people. They have a little video down here that explains how it works. Uh, I'll just go ahead and click download. We'll go ahead and run. Go ahead and install. and finish. And that's it. So now, let's go ahead and go back to File Hippo. Just do the same thing we did before. CD DVD uh, CD Burner XP. Now this is where it sorta of gets interesting. Sorta. Of. <laughs> I mean, how interesting can a video about preventing adware be, but this is like one of the better parts of it. Alright. Alright, we'll go ahead and click next. Uh, agree. Next. Next. No adware. There was no checkbox for the adware, for the bundleware. So Unchecky automatically just removed that part from the installer. Go ahead and hit finish. And it's done. And we will go ahead and go back one. Go back another one. Say okay to that. So let's go ahead and get our image burner. Now I'm not sure if this works with all like adware bundleware. I have no idea. I've only tried it with a few, but the ones I've tried it with so far have been perfect. File Hippo not cooperating with me again. Uh, 
Okay, let's go ahead and hit refresh. All right, this should be the same thing. So next, go ahead and agree. Next, 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 and no adware. Again pretty awesome. I mean, it's very seamless. Just allows you to get back to the good old days where you could download stuff without having it, you know, all that bundleware and adware installed with it. Nah. All right. And so our far uh for our final test far let's go look for that YouTube downloader. I did not test this, so I don't know if it'll work. Uh, YouTube downloader.com. Download now. Go through some more BS of downloading again. And waiting and waiting and waiting. This is brutal. I'm sorry I made this video tonight. <laughs> uh, let's see, where can I restart the download here? I don't see it. How annoying. If I had time to edit this tonight, I'd edit all this crap out, but oh well. Let's go ahead and close that. I'll just pause it until I can get it to go. Okay, it's actually downloading. <laughs> Finally. It took forever. I'll skip that. All right, let's take a look at this slowly and see if anything gets installed. Nope, worked on that too. <laughs> That's awesome, I love Unchecky. Um, if you have a PC, you definitely need to install it. Um, yeah, because it's really easy to install adware, bundleware these days. So, I don't know, give it a shot, check it out. They don't have too much on their site on how it really actually works. I was looking for like a privacy policy and things like that, like if they're selling your info or something, but I don't see anything like that. Uh, I don't know. Functionality-wise, it's solid. I, I like it. So, anyway, um, thanks for watching. I, I know it was kind of boring, but I see too many people installing AdWords these days, and I figured I'd show you a way to prevent it. So, thank you.